for those applying for undergraduate programs, applications start in June. They can go to the website of the University of the Sun when you make applications. Those who want to study postgraduate, you can apply essentially any time of the year. So welcome. There are already some South Sudanese students, about 20 or later, the University of Islam in various disciplines. You'll find it good. Okay, but uh, how... How cheap is, uh, is that one, really, for South Sudanese to maybe go and start? How school? affordable is yeah. that uh, your tuition fee for the South Sudanese student? The University of Dar es Salaam is a public university, it's 100% owned by the government of Tanzania. So the fees are relatively cheap, it's about $2,500. Um, you do, do a program, and if you are studying Swahili, you pay like local Tanzanians, which is less than $500 a year. So with $1,500, you would have paid fees for the entire one three-year degree program. So it's quite affordable. And also the cost of living in Tanzania is relatively low compared to other capitals and we always give priority to our international students when it comes to accommodation which also comes with subsidized services including food. Okay, uh, with the way how you have seen and uh, now South Sudan when it comes in terms of economic or economy in the world of economy today they are somehow the economy is somehow shrinking or it is shaky. You find like even you as you came, you had, the first thing what you ask for is, uh, um, may you tell us the market influential of the things in the market. With that opportunity, is there a possibility for South Sudanese, if they cannot afford to pay it in hard currents, will this it going to be possible for them to be like paying in the rate of uh, your hard, uh, the way how you buy hard currents in Tanzania, if they are paying? Okay, first of all, let me say that I was very pleased with the state of this South Sudan economy because this is not my first time. I've been coming here for the last five years, so I should congratulate the country and the leadership. I think good progress is being made. Regarding your question on the currents of payment, yes, students, foreign students pay in hard foreign currency, but it's readily available. So you can buy it from the Tanzanian market, it's okay, nobody is going to ask you to bring it necessarily from South Sudan. So this has never been a problem. If you can get local currency, definitely you can get the, the US dollars. However, we are in advanced discussions about having memorandum of understanding for between the governments of Tanzania, government of South Sudan, the University of Islam and some higher academic institutions here, which could come even with a fee waiver. Is, is there some agreement that you have signed maybe with the any higher institution, yeah. like uh, for example, the highest leading university in South like Sudan Dubai is the university. university of Juba. Are you having some MOU with them since you came within the four days as you have been in Juba? On this leg, we yeah. have not been able to meet with the University of Juba, but two years ago I was here myself. We had very good discussions with the University of Juba. We already have a draft memorandum. We will continue to engage, and hopefully, at some point in time. It will come in two force, so students admitted at the University of Islam should be able to come to the University of Juba, and those at the University of Juba should be able to come to the University of Islam. Okay, what could be your message to the young South Sudanese who are pursuing their education at this moment? My message would be, we live in a globalized world. It would be good for everybody to have an international exposure cultural exposure even before they finish their education and I encourage them as fellow Africans to try and get this exposure within Africa and in particular in Tanzania. So I would say Karibuni Tanzania, welcome to Tanzania for studies, you will enjoy it. Okay, your name? My name is Professor Bonaventure Rutinwa, I am the Deputy Vice-Chancellor responsible for Academic Affairs, University of Dar es Salaam. Asante sana.